Next guy that we're going to talk about, uh, again, all of these guys are in the top 100 prospects as graded by um, Major League Baseball Pipeline, MLB.com. Um, Bo Naylor, this is a guy that has some familiarity to Guardians fans uh, because he was on the playoff roster um, a season ago um, and he, a catcher. So what do you see from Bo Naylor? Well, it starts with the defense. There's, there's plus defense there. He's, he has great relationship with the pitchers. He does good with, with game calling as well as framing behind the plate. But one thing that, that's in addition to that, he's a, he's a threat offensively. We're really excited about what he can do from the left side of the plate. And um, we know that he can help us in Cleveland in the near future. And again, uh, a young guy, a plus uh, offensive um, guy at a position that the Guardians have said historically, you better be able to handle pitchers and you better play defensively uh, if you want to play catcher for Terry Francona. Yes, and Josh does that. I'm sorry, Bo does that. I <laughs> messed up and called him Josh because Josh is his older brother, but this is the last time I will refer to him as, as Josh's little brother. Um, what do you see from him that, that you like? Here you see the, uh, the grade and um, the thing, again, that pops the arm, the fielding, um, in addition to being above average um, on the offensive side of things. Um, and, and those grades are relative. They're not relative to position. They're relative to a bat. So um, when you get guys that are above average bat with that type of thing at a pitcher, at, at a catcher position, that's an impressive um, an, an impressive combination. Absolutely. I mean, there's typically you'll see guys have one or the other. They'll be either offensive oriented or defensive oriented and both. We get both. Uh, so we're really excited about what he can do uh, with us in the future.